What's up, people? We're back for another reaction. Uh, this one, I was scrolling through. Uh, this happened actually yesterday, but by the time I upload it, it'll probably be middle of next week sometime. So, But this was uploaded yesterday, and I'm going to react to it today. So it'll probably be about three or four days before you all see it. Uh, I'm trying to get some stuff done. So... Uh, I can get uh, when I go out of town this week or next week. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Uh, that I uh, I'll have a uh, stuff to, uh, to be able to upload. Y'all be able to see. So uh, this is an abandoned drag strip returns after nearly eighty eight years. Eight six seven eight eight years. And I'm probably, people, I'm probably going to murder this name. Uh, uh, Kanawaha. It's K-A-N-A-W-H-A, -A Valley Dragway. Uh, don't know where that is. I'm sure they'll let me know in the, in the job, in the description, or they'll probably say something. Let me see here. Let's see. West Virginia. Let's see here. All right. Yep. West Virginia. So, like, subscribe, comment down below. LimpyReacts at gmail.com. Thumbs up. And we'll just go ahead and get this on there so y'all can see what we're working with here. Track closed down in 2017, but it's back. There you go. Mountain State UTV and racing stuff. Uh, I'm not a subscriber, but it might be after the video. You never know. And uh, we'll give her a little look see here. Wonder how far that is from the Whitakers. Maybe we just do a little trip out there. Go out there and go see the Whitakers. Thinking ahead, people. Thinking ahead. <laughs> Mr. Poop. Oh boy, what'd I do? There we go. Concrete transfers, asphalt. Nice little tower there. Nice little property there. I guess it's got a driver's entrance and a pit side or a spectator side and pit side. December 1st. So this lets you know December 1st, which was yesterday. Uploaded yesterday. Kanawaha. Kana, uh, Kanawaha Valley. Maybe. I'm bad with names.
Uh oh, I'm having problems. Kind of hard to do with that one hand. Got it. Welcome to the Mountain State UTV and Racing Stuff YouTube channel. Uh, guys, I can't describe at? how I excited I am to announce that the Canal Valley Motorsport Canal? Park has been purchased. The Canal. deal is done. It's legit. It's not just hype this time. It didn't fall through. The papers have been signed, and this place is getting opened back up as a drag strip. So, cannot describe how excited I am to tell you guys. Well, that's changed. People, we've been hearing them all shut down. Now they're one being reopened. So, is that we had a lot of other plans to do a really hyped up video of the announcement for this, but it already got leaked on Facebook. So we're gonna do what we can, and we'll follow up with a really cool video later. But I wanted to get the news out to you guys. I really appreciate the Smiths for involving me in this. Uh, it really helps us out. But let me walk you guys around, tell you a little bit of backstory on the Canal Valley Motorsports Park, Canal. soon to be known as the Southside Dragway. Let's get into it. Southside so Dragway. All, every time I do a track it's video, it's raining. So, guys, we are in, I believe it's Mason County, West Virginia, at Canal Valley Dragway. This place shut down in uh, 16, 17, 2017, around that time. And it has been sitting dormant ever since. Uh, many people have tried to get this place bought, and it almost seemed like it was just a curse that it couldn't be done. Uh, every year we would hear a new rumor of somebody trying to buy it, and the deal would fall through. So finally, Earl Smith uh, here out of West Virginia has purchased the track. What the great news about that is they're drag racers, and they're passionate about drag racing. Good deal, so good deal. We're really excited about that. It's not going to be uh, one of these deals where somebody's just in it to make money. They're passionate about racing, so this will be a racetrack. Having said that, they've been here for weeks, even before the deal was done, doing work on this place. So I'm going to turn you around. If you can see over there, that's one of the bathroom facilities. has a brand-new metal roof on it. There's the tower. Also, it has a brand-new metal roof on it. They're doing electrical work inside right now. They've already got bleachers back. And uh, I believe everyone's primary concern was gonna be what is the track surface like? I have walked it. I've been coming here to visit for several years. And I've said the whole time this track surface was always really good. And uh, if you guys can see it on video, it still looks great. They've got all the grass and things cleared out of the cracks. The transition looks excellent. Let me just run you back there. Come on, let's go. This is the concrete transition, still looks excellent. There's no big bumps here. I've actually driven my Jetta across it several times. Jetta. It feels great, no problems yeah, there. No so problems. Uh, we'll walk down toward the big end and I'll show you guys some more of that. So the black top looks really good. There's no giant craters. You got typical cracks in the black top. That is not a big deal. I would bet if you get out and walk the backside of any track that you guys race on, there's going to be cracks in the blacktop. It's not a big deal. What the Smiths have done is they were not craters. able to buy the entire property. I believe they've bought uh, around 25 acres to include the track, the pits, the buildings, and all the stuff we need to race. Okay, We're not going to be holding MPK events here. There will be room to God, play, I hope not. and we're really excited about it. They have a plan, I believe, to try and open this sucker up in the springtime. Probably going to be a lot of arm drop racing, no prep racing, things like that until more revenue can be get made. With me. There's a get lot with me, of work people. and money that needs get to go into this place. So all the lighting is going to have to be updated. They need a timing system. Well, I'm sure. The bathrooms need no, to be redone. The, the plumbing needs to be redone. So keep in mind, this is going to be a work in progress. Be patient and appreciate the fact that we finally have a drag strip in West Virginia. Twin Branch is cursed. <laughs> as much as I'd love to see it opened up, that place, I mean, no matter what we do, we've tried and tried and tried, and it just, Branch, it's cursed, I, I swear. Uh, this place is full of nostalgia. It's full of people's memories, and I can't describe how excited I am to race at this track. My car, my black Vega, has been to this track numerous times. There's old videos of it at this track. I have never been down this track personally, and I can't wait. So guys, there's so many thank yous in order here. First of all, thanks for the previous owner for finally agreeing to sell the property. Thank you to the Smiths for really going out of their way and having the passion to get this place back open as a racetrack. Thank you. I'm sure that I can speak on behalf of all the racers around West Virginia. 
we can't thank you enough and we're really excited to support this place i know i'll be here all the time it's 25 minutes from my house right now i drive two hours to the track and i'm not gonna lie with all the children in my house it's brutal okay so i'm really excited and uh we're excited to support you however we can and anyone who's watching this video if you want to support the track you can get with me and uh, I can forward that to the family, or if they wish to do so, I can uh, forward you their contact information. And that goes for sponsors. Maybe we can have a work party out here. Uh, if you want to donate equipment, if you want to donate toilets in the bathrooms, all that stuff is going to need to be addressed. So if you want to support this track, support racing in West Virginia, shoot me a message on my Facebook page, Mountain State UTV and Racing Stuff. Make sure you like our page, like these videos. And we will be doing a lot of follow-up videos. We plan to be very much involved in this track and its marketing. But guys, other than that, I, I don't know what else to do except for show you around the facility. Um, maybe if one of you guys want to donate a state-of-the-art timing system or you know somebody who might do that, shoot them our way, okay? We need a good timing system. But until then, there will be race cars going down this track. Doesn't matter if it's old school, off a flashlight, arm drop, doesn't matter. We're going down the track. I'm going to stop yakking. I might show you guys some more B-roll, but again, my heart is full. I'm excited, and uh, I don't know what else to say other than I'm just pumped. Me, JP, my mentor, John Porterfield, he raced here for years and years, and I know he's excited, too, for this to get off the ground. We've been let down so many times, so we're pumped. We can't wait to see you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want more news on this track, Canal Valley Motorsports Park, soon to be known as Southside Dragway. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, make sure you put that notification bell on. We'll be putting out updates. Plus, you'll see some of the shenanigans we get into on a daily basis anyway. So go ahead and follow us there. Again, we're so excited. Thank you for watching. I will shut up now. We'll see you later. There you have it, people. Southside uh, Dragway or Raceway, whatever. Southside. Formerly known as Canal Valley Dragway or Raceway. Opening back up. And I forgot. I already forgot what county he said. Congrats. Congrats. Thanks to the Smiths for opening that up. Uh, congrats, man. Uh, y'all got anything y'all want to add? Y'all can, uh, if y'all need to get in touch with me, limpy reacts at gmail.com. Uh, have a lot of comments down below. Get a thumbs up. Uh, nice seeing tracks open instead of closing. Y'all have a good one. Later.